The journey where a man or woman is made. Just the journey. Are you bury beloved people? And you have to keep living. You keep living. The journey. When, when you received that phone call after going for months and months and months to interviews and they call you back sorry i'm afraid i'm afraid and hear what i'm saying you are special no matter if you have a degree no matter if you're a manager at mcdonald's nowadays you are special your gifts your special talents you were born with them you put only in their inception the journey i need you to understand this it's you, yourself versus you, your dream versus the world. Don't let them obstruct you, let them see you. Let them see you, let them see you shining. Some people are going to fail an exam. Some people will lose a relative, but now, what do you have? Keep chasing the dream that dogs you from morning on in. The dream that traps and chomps your soul, devouring your heart, this is your only wish. But just as when Coach used to say, Run on! I can still hear him now, he said. Run on, William. You goings out there now, way past time you keep on running. You want that degree, suck it up, and keep on running. You want that high school diploma? You gotta keep on running, running, running. You wanna get your mama out of the project's good. Keep, keep, keep. On running, you want a good place in life? You had better keep on running. Let them watch you rise like a phoenix and become one of the greatest this world has ever seen. Ha! This is your life's journey. It's bumps and curves, joy as well as suffering. Are you ready for something different? Will you spend the rest of your days under a flag of self-pity? Or will you get up and run with life then keep going back here? You versus you. I've said this to you before. I want you to understand that. You versus you again, you see, when you no longer pay attention to anything that has nothing to do with you, your life will change. You get on each morning, you go to Instagram, you go to Facebook, and what do you do? I need you to teach yourself to stay in your lane. Realize the unique gift you bring to this world. You see, the aspect of my life particularly that I can probably share with you guys is that I started off in an unhappy family. I started off with people telling me, your father's not going to be your father. I started off with the echoes of the doubters yelling. You sit in this pit of hell for all eternity to come. And some of you descended into it. I remember looking over at the little boys and girls beside me took this as part of their own identity. They chose to make it their world. Me? I just ran. I ran toward my dreams. Because I know if I don't make it, it's my family who die in this pit of hell. Only by recognizing that it was me versus myself, not him, versus me or her versus me, or them versus me but me versus myself. Do not worry about the man who is already a hundred miles. In front of you, worry about the next step. Put your crown on and become a monarch. Put your crown on. Stop looking left and right for other people to bless you. You will have to do this yourself. And no, this will not be handed to you. You have to pick it up yourself. No, not by any kind of force or power, but make no mistake, by pure work effort. I'm talking tireless effort. I'm talking about a proverbial plainsman, outworking his peer. Put your crown on, the journey is still not over. Just as the journey speech, one day I had to get up. That day, I had to go all the way to another city to talk, and I did not have money to get there. All I had was a dollar twenty-five cents and the burning desire to win. I determined that on this one day, the difference is only the way and distance and that's all there will be people on your life and journey. I learned that there are people up to now that you most love, you will look into their eyes and ask them, do they believe in me? You ask, do you believe in me? Their mouth will answer, yes, but their eyes will tell you no. Yet it's not about what they did to you. It's about what you are going to do when all is said and done. Yes, we have lots of people in life who ran, but I say, but what now? This is what life's all about. It's what now? If we take our mind off our destination, we start to slip. We start to slip over counterfeit relatives, weak relationships, and pretend relationships. Promise me, 
if you stand before a mirror, look at yourself, and ask yourself a question, what does it take to succeed? I promise you that it will be up to you to decide what success means. People always come up to me. Will, what is your morning tradition? I want to find out if God gave me the strength to keep on fighting like that. I will take that phone call. And it's all to get succeeded in life.